Sedge SSB. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Here we go, though. Oh yeah. Another significant difference. Daisy has way better colors than Peach. Like oh, overall. Really? Like, do you see that red, black goodness that's that's on Daisy's you know dress and outfit right now? Actually, that is fire. I like her wind pose better because she has like the anime like peace sign and oh, and like, like the winky face and stuff yeah. like that. She's just, just a spunky character, dude. We're gonna go ahead and get this underway. Sarasa Land versus uh, the Mushroom Kingdom right here. And uh, so far, Zenyu has not been touched. That's right. Daisy uh, not putting, not being able to put her hands or booty onto Mario. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Luigi appreciates that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you're ever curious about what that Peach Tech is doing, where he throws out an aerial super early and then just goes down immediately on the ground, so how this game works is that you can't hit fastball until you reach the height of your jump. But basically, what Peach and Daisy's float do is that they they can uh, reach the peak of their jump at any time. So you just release it really early, and that allows them to fastball throughout an aerial, and you get to basically get a grounded aerial. Yeah, only character in the game that can like stop their vertical <laughs> ascend. Yeah, <laughs> very must, interesting. Must be nice. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit more difficult to do because you reach the height of your short hop faster in this game. But that up smash out of shield is gonna go ahead and clean out that stock from Razo immediately. <laughs> Okay, recovering after a whiff, side B. Zenyu not opting to go for a pair. Uh, up throw, gets one up air out of it. Oh, and he gets that cross up. Uh, it's definitely easier to cross up with aerials than it is with um, uh, other grounded options in this game. Very reminiscent of MGC in general, because usually aerials are how you just like jump around your opponent, throw out a hitbox, and then get around them. Okay, what we see there, and here we go. Zenyu combo is getting good damage. Oh, and you know after that up throw, he was going uh, for that fair. Yep. Zenyu, he, he can tell when he's starting to feel himself, it's like when he's throwing out those fairs way off stage. Not quite finding anything, though. Okay, forward throw. Oh, and I like the capes and him turn up right back at Razo. Yep, turn up definitely a very much more solid option. Definitely better at edge guarding, but if you have a reflector like Mario does in it, you can defend yourself from it. And another up smash, just as soon as he's ascended into the air, is able to call him out and say, oh, you know what, no anti -air, or no no time in the air for you. That's just the anti air out. Anti airs can be a big uh, big bane of the Peach Daisy combo. Yep. All right, let's see what Zenyu tries to get in. Oh my god, just catches him on shield again. Gets a fair spike. And try to get a spacing on the force smash. Not quite happening. Yeah, not able to convert, but dash attack still not enough to take the stock either. Yep. Even at 169%. Yep. If he DI'd inward on that dash attack, he probably died. But <laughs> if you DI outward on dash attack, then you usually hit the corner of the stage, so then you're fine there. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I think that was a back air from Daisy. Finally going to be able to take out at Zenyu's first stock. The way Zenyu's been playing, so much control in general. And usually uh, Zenyu's playstyle has just been to land a hit and then uh, combo until he can no, no longer combo anymore. But wow, the reach with the side B, the booty bump coming in for Razo. Razo knew that he already took out Zenyu's jump, so he had no choice but to drift back uh, towards the stage, try to get that up B. So just use that side B to intercept it and said, nope, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, really showing the power of flower power. How does Zenyu get out of this one? All right, down throw into the back air. Using the side B to latch onto the ledge. I think just one good hit from Mario will be able to do it right now. Yep, an up smash. But ooh, double, double flow cancel on there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one of the these characters are definitely very technical and very demanding. You press more buttons per second than <laughs> more than some of the other characters, but. Not able to quite get that combo finished up and gonna get that back air. Zenyu finally in an advantage position again and gets another one, calling out the jump to the stage. That's right, Zenyu looking very good, looking very clean in uh, game one of this set. I know for the entire first uh, stock, he was dominating Razo. I think Razo got lost in the first stock before he was really to put up a good amount of damage. Alrighty, moving on to final destination right now. Okay. These two are pretty significant uh, character loyalists, so I yeah. feel like uh, not probably going to see any switch. It would be very, very uh, out of left field if that happens. Right. I mean, we we may see Razo switch to Peach at one point, but that may be the extent of the character switches. Yeah. But that's actually not. Uh, Actually, now that I think about it, Zenyu has a fairly 
He has a really good cloud. In this game too? In this game, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I know he was he was talking about how he wants to main co main a uh, cloud in Mario. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now he, he had put a lot of work into his cloud as well. Alright. Zenyu so far doing a good job of just avoiding Razo's uh, offense at the moment. Double up there, not gonna finish off with an up B, not quite enough room to be able to get that. Okay, landing with the forward air, able to put some damage on to Zenyu. Now, oh, dash attack, gonna get punished by Nair out of shield. No up smash out of shield this time around. Mm -hmm. Razo definitely being careful on his uh, aerial advantages. Never mind, <laughs> still gets hit by an aerial. Yeah, both of our players are actually trying to space each other out, looking for, uh, looking for their hit to, to start it off. Zenyu looking for uh, some type of kill throw. There he gets it with a back throw. Oh, he tried to catch him on a low recovery. Not quite gonna happen there. He gets a dare combo starter, but only gets an upper out of it. And I like what Zenyu does. He just stops his combo when he knows that he's not gonna be able to get anything else out of it unless there's a re when a reversal comes out. So he just resets back to neutral, like, all right, I'm gonna get this much damage, and we're gonna go back to neutral, and then I'm gonna get it again. Very smart. Because even at that point, you can like force your opponent into a rock, paper, scissors situation, force them to pick an option, and then if you haven't chosen, then you just get to win. Yeah. All right, angle the shield up a little bit. If you hold the B button and R, or whatever your special move button is, and shield, then uh, you can control your shield and how you navigate it to avoid pokes much more easily in the game. Yeah, Razo having a lot of difficulty here in this match against Zenyu. Side B, not gonna be able to follow it up with that even after the shield bounce. Oh, that could have been the stock right there. I think I heard the little orange flick from the phantom hit. That worked out just fine for him. Wow. Quick back air coming out from Razo, sending Zenyu across stage. Oh, yeah. He tried to just wake up grab. Not quite going to work out there. I feel like wake up grab in this game isn't even, it's, it's like not even a good option. I don't even know, man. But yeah, unless your opponent really misspaces it, but Razo didn't quite do that there, so. Okay, back air connecting. Now, Zenyu just maintained the stage control. Roll to back throw. Evans, that's a smash four option. Yep, back throw is uh, definitely still a good option uh, for if we get the kill. I feel like kill throws are even more valuable in this game. Oh, pushing Razo off the stage with the back air. Yeah, I like what he tried to do there. He had the back air into a turnaround jab, so that if he got that jab, then Daisy would be forced to not grab the ledge and drift down, and he could possibly get in another punish off of that. But he didn't quite land the jab, so it, the effort was for naught. Hey. Big S smash coming out from Zenyu, but both our players whipping their attacks. Now dash attack, or dash grab getting punished by dabs. Dash dash, dash dance into uh, jump cancel fastball back air. Amazing stuff coming from Razo. Just being able to keep track of your movement options as Daisy must be really difficult to do. You usually have to think, okay, I can do this, I can do this, but I'm gonna pick this. Yeah, especially with, like, with the inclusion of flow cancel, like being able to cancel your aerials. It just, she has so many more movement options, but at the same time, Zenyu's dash dancing and just his knowledge of when Razo's going to want to push a button and then punish it is, is uh, spectacular. Yeah, he really has uh, Razo's tempo down in terms of how he starts his offense. I mean, even wow. right there, he did double jump and landed right inside Razo. Yep. Not afraid that Razo was going to push a button. I think he was looking for like a jump around him back. Oh my god, that actually killed. That's right, down air from Mario can kill now. Uh, and you don't fall out between the, the last two hits. Okay, that's uh, pretty pretty significant for Mario. So, look at, as you can see, a very significant character. I think they're playing the uh, crew battles on the side stream, it looks like. At least, that's what I think that's what's happening. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out on twitch.tv slash fadgames, you can do that as well. Remember, for right now, we have uh, Zenyu up 2-0 over Razo. Now, I've been waiting for Zenyu to show up to win Zenyu Fire 2, because I think that's the only local that Razo attends in, uh, in Orange County. Mm -hmm. So I've been wanting to see these two players play uh, for quite some time. Hey, starting off his combo with a down air. Now, just trying to space out these forward airs. Now, uh, change for change in uh, ultimate is that if you are standing and you get hit by a stage spike, you do you aren't able to take that bounce. Yeah, it definitely opens up for more uh, combo possibilities. And if you have a quick spike 
<laughs> like uh, like Daisy's down th uh, down tilt, you can definitely start a lot of good combos from it. But uh, if you're a fan of Zenyu, you know he's, how much he used to love throwing out that forward air. Uh, it doesn't matter what position they were in. If they were going to get hit by it, he was going to use it. Uh, so now I'm wondering when he's going to start actually comboing fair to fair. Yeah. Okay. Looks like Razo's actually switched up his momentum. He's uh, keeping up with Zenyu in terms of damage. Ooh, oh, even stuffing yeah. out. That's a stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that turn up sends you in a semi-spike now. So it's really hard for you to get back to the stage if you don't have your jump. So definitely difficult to do. Okay, so Razo going up, taking a lead for the first time in this set. Yeah. Hasn't, haven't seen that in a while. Usually Zenyu's the one that's been taking the first set every time. Or the first stock, excuse me. We still have his float. No float. Cape? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was, was a good try. That, was, that good was very smart from Raza. Waited for the drift <laughs> just outside of where Zenyu would want to try and challenge that. Uh -huh. And uh, just to avoid that cape. Okay, we're seeing the up air trains coming out from Zenyu. Even on, on the platform, you want to try and poke with uh, either applying shield pressure for free or just getting a poke. Yep. Oh, yeah, I like that again. Zenyu with the fade back out. The falling up air knew that you wouldn't be able to get anything else. Jumped away and then was able to get a back air afterwards after he called out Rob's defensive option after. Okay, back air connecting for Zenyu. And now we see a down throw into a couple up airs. Ooh, up air into down air. Yep. Definitely looking like some uh, good old Smash 4 combos here. Oh, especially at these like mid hyper sense. Yeah, completely. All right, down throw. Try to get the back air afterwards, but the Smash platform is going to aid Zenyu and be able to get that tech and some invulnerability. Yeah, great cross up from Razo using the forward air to cross up. Like, like applies shield damage and makes it very difficult to uh, your opponent's follow up. Oh, nope, the Toad comes out. Toad is definitely uh, cuter in, in the animation this time. It's not like she, she pulls it out of her purse and then the, the poor He's Toad like, is like ah. suffering. <laughs> yeah, this time the Toad is actually protecting their uh, princess. Yeah, as a toad should. Yeah. And uh, back air connecting for Raza, cleaning up that stock, bringing the stocks even. All right, gets that back air. Going to get another re-grab into the up air. It goes for three up airs rather than an up finisher. And still tacking on the damage, 95%. Almost got a forward smash read on that uh, on that roll, but wasn't quite able to find it. That's right. We see another cross-up coming out from Zenyu. And using Nair to cross up is such a good tool because it lasts so long. It's such a meaty hitbox. And then you can... You can either, you just put your opponent in a bad situation, but just by being down behind them. Ooh, great parry right there. Not gonna be able to get anything else though. But another back air that would look like some sus DI, but still gonna be able to survive. Even poking Zenyu on the way up. That You're gonna see dead. a back throw. Not gonna take the stock just yet. Uh, Razo hangs on to his uh, winner's life. Uh, but just the feet planted onto Daisy's face. And Zenyu's gonna take that 3-0. Yeah, very convincing 